Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today's full face video is actually going to be a redo of one that I have done two years ago. I cannot believe it has been two years, but May 19th, 2019, I did a full face and first impressions review of Danessa Myricks, who since then has just absolutely exploded all over the map. Her products are beautiful. She's an incredible makeup artist, entrepreneur, business owner. The art, the makeup art that she creates is incredible. And since I filmed that video two years ago, she has launched fully in Sephora. So if you are in Canada, you're able to get your hands on the Danessa Myricks products there, which is very exciting. You've always been able to buy it off of her website, but super incredible, big accomplishment. And like the video she posted when she launched at Sephora, it was so cute. Her product products are incredible. They are very much catered to like makeup artistry. You can kind of get any color or multi-use product you would possibly need to create any look, yet the looks she creates are so monochromatic, so glowy, so perfectly beautiful for the everyday makeup loving person as well. So there's a lot of products that I have actually kept since that video, which when I realized it was two years ago, I'm like, oh my God, is Tiara expired? Like. This seems to be a thing happening with me over the last few weeks, just really discovering how many products are actually expired and old in my collection, but they've still been performing great. And also since then, there have been some new exciting product launches from her brand. So I thought it was high time to revisit the Danessa Myricks train, do a full face and do an entire look inspired by her magical products and makeup artistry. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you have any favorites from Danessa Myricks, let me know in the comments down below. There are many colors I wanted to get my hands on that were sold out, like the gold foil. But I'd love to hear from you. And please also let me know if there are any other brands that you want me to do a full face of in videos to come. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like full face videos, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. So friends, let's get started. Let's put some makeup on this face and play with some Danessa Myricks. So let us begin with the base. I did prep my skin. I used an oil and a cream and I had actually previously picked up the Danessa Myricks beauty oil, but mine came exploded. So she does have an oil and I love to watch her prep the skin with the oil. It always looks so magical. And then she's also got her own lotions and potions and whatnot, but I'm gonna start with the Vision Cream Cover. Now I have used this foundation before it's one of those multi-use products that's like really, really thick. A little bit absolutely goes a long way. So I'm just gonna pour this out on my hand first. I got this in the shade number five because I thought that it would match my fake tan better. It might be a little bit too deep, but that's okay because we got a nice lighter concealer and I'm gonna blend this out. You can make this such full coverage. Like, I don't know if you saw, I put the tiniest little drop here. I blended it out with my finger, took one little finger lick and look at how much it's covering. Like the coverage with this product is absolutely redonkulous. So I just press that over my skin with my finger and now I'm gonna take my beauty sponge, beauty blender, and just blend this out. It kind of just has like a natural skin finish. Like it's, it's literally just adding more coverage to your face. What I love with Danessa Myricks, she talks about her like three steps to glow and she's just so clearly such a fan of healthy glowing skin. And it's just always talking about amping up the glow, which we love here on this channel. We are a fan. So yeah, this is literally just like, it looks like your skin. It's just adding coverage just like skin perfection in a bottle. And you could totally just go in with more, like use multiple shades. She actually does this a lot in her tutorials that she posts on Instagram. Like she'll use just like three shades of the vision cover and use it as concealer and whatnot too. <laughs> Sorry, my voice always goes out whenever I apply this. Yeah, that was a lot deeper, but we're, we are gonna brighten this up. It's kind of like her foundation and her concealer product. However, she also has the Vision Cream Cover Perfecting Wand. So I got this one in the shade number three, so it's two shades lighter. So on the website, it doesn't explicitly say that this is the same or a different product as the Vision Cream Cover, but it literally has the same name. So I don't know if this is just like in a different packaging, like to make it easier to apply in this little tube format. But either way, we've got shade three and I'm gonna use this to highlight the face. Like it's very thick. That was, <laughs> I literally rubbed it all off on my hand. I accidentally pumped a little bit too much. Honestly, you need the tiniest bit of product with these Vision Cream Covers. It's crazy. So I'm gonna take my beauty sponge again and just blend that out. And hopefully this will help to even out <laughs> and brighten up the skin from the foundation. That was just a little bit too deep for me. 
So even though this Vision Cream Cover like has a lot of coverage, like it can be very, very heavy if you don't apply it sheerly, sheerly enough. It's just such an easy product to use. Like it's no fuss. You can just kind of blend it around and move it around and it's no problem. Like it's not a product that you apply and you're like, Rawr! like it just soaks into your skin. It's really beautiful. Honestly, if you wanted to buy like one product and to just know that it would work with absolutely anything, like mixing any kind of foundation concoction that you could possibly dream of, mixing this with oil, mixing it with a highlighting, illuminating product, like you can just do whatever you want with this. It's so flexible. And that's the same with all of her products. All of her products can be used all over the eyes, lips, cheeks, face, body, like they're just all multi-use products. Each product just has like a unique finish. Some are matte, some are glazy and glossy, some are metallic, and they could just, you can just put it anywhere. So you could completely get any color that you want in life by mixing her products. And it's just a magical experience. So there's the base. Like look at how flawless that is. It's actually insane. I need to remember to use this more. It's so beautiful and flawless. Like especially if you're taking photos, filming videos, events, special occasions, it's like your skin is perfected and it looks so good. So next up we have the Illuminating Veil. And this is also a product that I used in my first full face of Danessa Myricks. I believe I used the, yeah, I used Radiance, which was a little bit too deep for me. And ironically, this is the one that I have in the full size. I had bought a smaller size of Luna, which I think suits my skin much better. So I'm actually gonna pump this out onto my hand. <laughs> Okay, so I just swatched it in the palm of my hand. It's an incredibly juicy, juicy, beautiful highlighting product. And the last time I used it in my base and I've since watched many, many of her videos and I liked the way she applied it over top of the foundation and used it literally as a highlighter. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm gonna to take my beauty sponge and apply it this way and put it on the tops of my cheeks. Whoop. Now as I'm applying this, I'm definitely seeing like texture. Like you guys can see the speckles of, I don't wanna say like the pearls, the glitter bits. You know, it's definitely a chunkier highlighter, which when you apply it onto your hand, like when I am rubbing it out on my hand, it just feels so juicy and it just looks like a glow. But when it's on the skin, it's like, yeah, there's definitely chunks there. I feel like it just completely highlighted all my texture there and it's like, set in. No! Okay, well we'll just try and, I'm just gonna stop it there. Yeah, it's literally just like set in curdled. So here's the thing, that's the illuminating veil, glittery. The Tiara Vision Flush is like heavenly juicy, juicy glow, no glitter bits. Man, yeah, you can even see it on my hand. It's like chunks of silver glitter left over, whereas the Vision Flush is just like nothing. It's just like pure heavenly, glowiness no chunks that's too bad that's too bad that's probably gonna show up we'll try and just blend it out with our contour and bronzer and whatnot but yeah that was weird 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 it looked so glowy and juicy when she used it and the last time i used it i mixed it in with my foundation all right speaking of contour and bronzer i have been using and loving the bomb contour so much i have the shade light to you guys if you watch my videos consistently you would have definitely seen this bad boy a lot it's beautiful it's very light in pigment in comparison to the huda beauty tan tour like this one is much more of a lighter natural less pigmented contour but it just makes it a bit easier to use like it's pretty difficult to go too heavy-handed with this so i'm just going to use this to contour and chisel up the cheeks. Now this one I find is a nice, you know what? It actually really reminds me of the Tom Ford one in the sense that it's not too cool toned. It still has that nice warmth there that allows it to kind of act as a contour and a bronzer. So like usually when I apply this, I feel okay. Like I still might go in with a glowy bronzer just to add that glow there. But for the most part, like I get enough warmth and enough contour from this one product alone. It's so easy to use, it's so easy to blend, and it just, it looks natural. It's absolutely stunning. This is my Smith 157 brush. This is my current favorite 
brush to blend out any kind of cream contour and cream bronzer product. It's so soft, it's got a slight angle, and it just blends everything out really, really beautifully. I actually have a much easier time blending out with this than my Beauty Blender when it comes to contour and bronzer products. It's just very lovely to use. Okay, then I want to take the Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum brush number 19, and this is what I've been using lately to do the nose. So I just take this brush and it's just the perfect little shape here to just whoop, 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 whisp down the nose. And I always like to make sure that I'm adding my contour or bronzer, something on the nose so that it's nicely blended in with the rest of the skin. Okay, let's try out the Power Bronzer. I have the shade Light, and this is Matte Bronzing and Shaping Cream. I love this packaging. It's so cute and small and easy and just no fuss. I love it. it. Reminds me of the old MAC packaging. I'll show you guys the two colors here. So the bronzer is actually a lot lighter than the contour. So I don't know if it's going to show up at all. I definitely should have gotten one deeper, but uh, yeah, I feel like the formulas, I feel like this is like the same thing for me. You know, like I probably didn't need both of these. You could get one or the other and it would kind of feel the same. You know, let me just, I feel like we're not, like this isn't going to show up. Yeah, I feel like that's, <laughs> like it's lighter than the contour, so I don't know if this is gonna do much. Yeah, I'll probably, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that. It actually feels the same in texture. But look at how much deeper the bomb contour one is. Yeah, sorry guys, okay. That is going to be ineffective at this time. But regardless, her cream products, are absolutely gorgeous. And hopefully you'll be able to see how easy these are blending out and applying. So we're gonna leave that for now. Actually, let's take some of the Vision Flash and Tiara. Not that we need any more highlight on top of this glitter, but I just wanna show you how fabulous this product is. It's absolutely gorgeous and so easy to blend out. The packaging is nice and small, easy to use. It's just, oh my God. This is one of my favorite products that I've tried from Danessa Myricks for sure. And this color is just like, oh, what a dream for a highlight. Woo, we are glowy fam, glowing. Okay, so that's the Tiara Vision Flush, which again, I cannot believe that that is two years old now because it still feels just as emollient and juicy as day one. So very impressive lasting power <laughs> on these products. I'm undecided what I wanna do for blush just yet. So I'm gonna leave the face for now. Let's go into eyes. Now I have picked up a ton of her color fix products and I have a bunch of different finishes. So I've got the mattes here. These are the nudes. I also have some of her glazes. These are the glazes, which in comparison, the glaze has this like jewel lid. So you can see here, this is the same lid as the nudes and the mattes. And then this is the glaze. So it's kind of just like the glossy version. Oh, they look absolutely divine. And then there's also the metallic ones. And these obviously have the little lovely shimmers within it. I also got some of her primary colors. I wanted to get blue as well, but the blue is sold out. So I got the red and the yellow. And you know, if you want your primary colors, you can make any color you want. You don't even have to buy the rest, which is kind of cool. I also bought white just for future. Any color you could possibly dream of, any finish, she's got it all. And so I went a little, I went a little ham. I went a little crazy on these colors, but the one thing I love that she does, she just does the most fabulous monochromatic looks. Like she always has the most beautiful nudes and browns, deep light browns that she uses all on the eyes and the lips. And it always looks so beautiful. So I wanted to create something like that today. I have the shades nude nine and 10. Kind of want to play with these on the eyes. And then we have the metallic to go on top. This is the shade Celebration. If we want to do a little mixing and dibbling in there. And then I've got Truffle. Oh, I have been dying to try this. It might be like a lot of brown on my skin. We'll see. I might end up doing something a little bit lighter. We can always go in with something like Cupcake, which is another glaze. I'll just quickly show you guys the finish of the glazes because they're just dreamy. This is Cupcake and this is Truffle. It's just the most glossy, glorious, finish ever. Oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait to put that on my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna start out with number nine. I'm putting the tiniest little amount on my hand and then I'm taking a brush and you can see how easily this blends out. Like you need honestly the smallest amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto my eyes and see where we go. I just wanna do 
a lovely, beautiful wash of color all over the lip. And just blend it out and see what kind of smoky, wonderful brown color we end up getting. Like, look at how magical that is. Oh my gosh, that is the tiniest bit. Oh, honestly, a little bit goes a long way. If you're looking for one wash of color, well, one and done eyeshadows, honestly. I should have included these. I mean, I hadn't bought all these shades yet, but this shade, nude number nine, like, are you witnessing this magic? I haven't even re-dipped. What a beautiful color and how easy to use. <gasps> Look, that was so fast, I can't even believe it. It's such a, oh my God, I've been dying. I have been dying to play with these. Let's go in with nude number 10. I'm just gonna take the deeper one. I'm gonna try and take like the tiniest, tiniest. Look at that rich, rich color. And let's just take this deeper brown and just layer that onto the lid. Oh, that is gorgeous. This is like a true chocolate brown. And let's just blend that onto the lid. We took the nude number nine kind of all over and above the crease. And then I'm just packing this nude number 10 onto the lid. If I could have one eye look to wear for the rest of my life, let it be known that it is this. <laughs> I love these colors so much, especially when I have a tan on. It's just like, ugh, just these easy swipes of color. I'm just gonna take a flat shader brush and just dip into both of these colors, just really digging it into the bristles there. And I'm just gonna run that on the lower lash line. I don't know what to say, but I never want to wear anything else on my eyes. I love this color, these colors, plural. <laughs> Okay, I don't think it needs it, but I think we should at least attempt to put a little bit of celebration on top because this is the metallic version. Let's give it a little swatch. Lord, oh, oh, look how beautiful that is. Look at that. Wow. I wonder if we can just, let's just try patting it on with our fingers. How gorgeous is that it's so subtle honestly you could totally totally wear this by itself like it blends out and looks really like multi-dimensional <gasps> oh my god i have no other words other than wow wow to this eyeshadow moment here i'm just gonna take a little a little fluffy brush and just go over and make sure we're all blended here that's it that's it that's the look bye we're done <laughs> I'm gonna take some mascara. I'm gonna use my Lancome Lash Idol. Let's put some mascara on. Okay, other than this fun little triangle we've got going on here, there's the mascara. I think I will put some on the lower lashes, but I just wanna do powder first. This is another product from Dinesh and Myrick. What? Another product from Danessa Myricks. Can I speak? The Evolution Powder. I got this in the shade two. And now that we are powder people, I was very excited to give this a go. So I'm gonna take my Katie Jane Hughes number eight brush. This is the best brush on the planet, by the way. And let's go ahead and take this down the center of the face and see how she rolls. With some powders, I apply them, and because my skin is so dry, I get an instant, like, suction cup feeling, and I'm not getting that immediately with this, which is very exciting. I love a glow, and this is leaving some of the glow, but I don't like this shine, because this shine right here, like, look at the difference. The shine is removed from under the eye, which makes your pores look a lot more seamless, whereas this side, it just, like, highlights the pores and the fine lines, and applying the powder there, just removes that shine, the unwanted shine, and makes it look so much more smooth and much more flawless. Like, look at the difference. Wow, this powder is beautiful. So we're still just leaving the glow on the rest of the face, but just removing the unwanted pore enhancements on the inner parts of the face. So yeah, wow, wow. Big thumbs up for that powder so far. That's beautiful. And I'm not getting any tight, dry feelings. How very exciting. I feel like I just don't even need blush right now, which is unheard of for me to say, but I just am loving this very bronzed summery makeup moment and I'm obsessed with the eyes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, let's try cupcake. Let's try cupcake. 
I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my finger and blend it out and see how that looks. Because maybe like one of these, if we end up sticking with it. God, look at that. Wow. We can just use this as a blush as well. I'm trying to not use a lip liner, but I might have to use a lip liner because I feel a little bit naked without one. <laughs> But that is cupcake. It looks fine. Like I would totally wear this, but I kind of want to rock the nude chocolate vibe that we've got going on. So I'm going to take it off, but here's a look at cupcake. Okay. I'm going to take some Mac strip down. I do want to line my lips here. And let's go ahead and use truffle, the other glaze. <sighs> I don't know why I use my left hand to do that. I have no mobility whatsoever with my left hand. I think that looks so nice. That was truffle. Beautiful, glossy, glossy lip. Yet, yeah, it's not like too wet feeling that you feel like it's gonna rub away and run away, you know? I love this combination. Oh my God, you guys, that's the look. That's the finished look. I am so excited about these products. I'm so excited to have more of these color fixed shades in my life. I really wanna play. I know that the last few weeks slash months, we are have just been uploading a lot and I haven't really had a chance to just like sit and play with makeup when I'm not filming. Like pretty much every makeup look that I've done has been for filming, you know, but I'm really, like this brand, everything that Danessa Myricks does, the looks she posts, the products she comes out with, like it makes me excited to play. Like it just makes me wanna sit here, like I've got all the colors of the rainbow at my fingertips and I just wanna play. So I love the feeling that this brand gives me. It makes me feel inspired. So I think that's always an exciting thing when it comes to makeup. So I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on the look and the products. Danessa Myricks as a brand, she's just fabulous. And if you don't already follow her and you're looking for some incredible makeup inspo, I will absolutely put her link to her Instagram and whatnot in the description box down below and you should give it a look. It's a beautiful page to follow and be inspired by. I really love how this look turned out. I'm excited to continue playing with more of these products and more shades. If there's anything that you want me to use and review in particular, please let me know. You guys, thank you so much as always for watching this video and I will see you all very soon for a new Everyday My Video. Bye!